with sea creatures dwindling at an alarming rate, many fish populations as well as our valuable reefs are on the brink of extinction. As Robert Swain once said, the greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Here are nine tragic truths about ocean pollution we can't continue to ignore. Nine, rubbish. The ocean is a very valuable natural resource, yet increasingly, it's being threatened by pollution from people on land as well as from natural causes. The bulk of trash seen floating among the tides, stuck in between rocks and littering the seashore, comes from everyday items that people throw away, without giving the contents hardly any consideration. The best time to see firsthand the effects of pollution is when strolling the beaches after a storm. Be mindful of this visual reality, for this residue is only a small amount of garbage that permeates our waters. So, what happens with our waste after we carelessly dispose of it? Things like cigarette butts, old worn fishing gear, tin and plastic containers from food and beverages, paper bags and one-time use products such as bottles, carrier bags, straws and utensils are posing a huge threat to our planet, and our oceans in particular. According to the National Academy of Sciences, an estimated 8 million tonnes of rubbish enter the world's oceans every year. Researchers speculate this number is even higher, in fact, since trash that is constantly in motion is increasingly difficult to tally. What further complicates this matter is that litter enters the marine environment through a number of pathways. 8. Land-Based Pollution First, there is the issue of land-based pollution. Sources under this category make up 80% of the pollution that permeates the sea. Also known as non-point source pollution, these include runoff from septic tanks, vehicles and boats, as well as agricultural culprits such as farms, ranches and many forested areas. If you think sewage is disgusting snaking its way through our underground tunnels and found at points where land meets the sea, imagine how marine ecosystems feel. The release of minerals and toxic nutrients drain directly into our oceans, which lead to a reduction in oxygen levels, as well as a detriment to the quality of clean water and decaying of plant resources. Millions of motor engines release oil emissions and residue that fall onto our roads and parking lots. Further, water pollution can even start off in the air. Dirt is a well-known pollutant that clogs up our waterways and settles in our oceans. Topsoil and silt from fields and construction projects run into the ocean and severely threaten wildlife habitats as well. The dumping of toxic chemicals into the sea results in thermal pollution, in which water temperatures rise. Animals which can't survive at these increased temperatures wither and die. In addition, junk clouding the water's surface prevent filtration from sunlight, so plants and animals reliant upon photosynthesis soon perish. How can we correct the instance of non-point source pollution? Every year, millions of dollars are used to restore and protect areas damaged or endangered by non-point source pollutants, yet correcting the problem starts at the source. Currently, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are in conjunction with agricultural departments and environmental protection agencies to develop innovative steps to monitor, assess, control, and hopefully, limit non-point source pollution created by modes of industry and human action. 7. Ocean-Based Pollution Next is the ocean-based pollution. Here, the remaining 20% of marine pollution comes from ocean-based sources, such as those stemming from fishing, shipping, and cruise ship industries. Another serious cause is contamination from efforts such as gold, copper, cobalt, and zinc mining. When the production of sulphide deposits as far as 3,000 miles deep begin to infiltrate the water, the subsequent areas affected are ecosystems that survive at the lowest regions of our oceans. The growing toxicity from oil leaks, corrosion and oil spills to these regions result in permanent damage to the marine habitats found there. In terms of oil spills, this devastating circumstance is a direct result of ship pollution. Crude oil can last for years in the ocean and is known to suffocate unsuspecting marine life as it inks its way into their regions and entraps them. This form of unrefined petroleum is also almost impossible to clean up, so once it's there, it's there to stay. Moreover, thousands of large vessels lose crates each year due to storms, accidents and last-minute emergencies. 
This action leads to noise pollution, which is abrupt and directly affects the tranquil balance of life that underwater animals are prone to. This can throw off the normal functions of their existence and cause severe stress. 6. Rubbish and the repercussions According to a recent study conducted by the University of Georgia, enough waste ends up in our oceans every year to line every coast on the planet with five bulging bags of trash. If we continue the careless dance of disposing of our garbage by improper means, man-made items such as plastic bottles, aluminium cans, clothing and other non-biodegradable packaging products can reach the sea and get washed back ashore. This in turn heavily pollutes the world's pristine beaches and poses massive health risks to locals as well as the tourist industry. Situations such as this turn some of the planet's most prized ocean fronts, from Kuta, Indonesia to Phuket, Thailand, into an ugly epicenter of trash and other biohazard material. Think of baby turtle hatchlings, which have a hard enough chance of survival as it is. Only one in a thousand of these adorable animals make it to adulthood. Part of the battle is the daunting trek from nest to sea, in which debris from plastic bags and fishing line appear as a tantalizing snack along the way. With their bellies no bigger than a fingernail, the waste gets trapped in their stomach, which prevents the ingestion of proper food later on. Further, many turtles are found floating due to trapped gases caused by harmful decomposition of marine debris inside their little bodies. If they don't die from the inability to swallow, they die from being easy prey forced to float along the water's polluted surface. 5. What lurks within underwater canyons? Due to the existence of underwater canyons beneath the ocean surface, also known as submarine canyons, science determines that we may only be scratching the surface when it comes to our knowledge of ocean pollution. According to a survey off the sunny coast of Monterey Bay, California, a discovery was made regarding the astonishing amount of litter lodged in the deeper parts of the canyon there. The Monterey Canyon is a famous underwater trench spanning 95 miles, and due to its depth of 11,600 feet, the canyon hosts many unique underwater organisms that make Monterey Bay an important ecological area. Home to the largest national marine sanctuary in the United States, Monterey Bay and its canyon play a dynamic role in aquatic health and biodiversity. With pollution pervading the depths of this valuable natural region, sediment, trash and chemicals are sliding into these caverns and becoming stuck. From the mouth of the Hudson River in New York City, another impressive canyon extends 300 miles out into the Atlantic and four miles deep into the continental shelf. This too, among many other submarine canyons around the globe, are conduits which move toxic waste from land to the deeper realms of the ocean. Up until only a few years ago, New York and New Jersey were dumping raw sewage directly into the canyons within the Hudson River, funneling the muck and sludge deeper into Atlantic waters. Not only is the Hudson one of our planet's largest submarine canyons, but it's also the most disgusting. 4. The Imperfections of Plastic Scientists have determined that around the end of 2017, there was a 1 to 2 ratio of plastic to plankton permeating our waters. The number of plastics alone was estimated at around 150 million tons, approximately one-fifth of the weight of all fish inhabiting our oceans. The study further concludes that if this problem isn't solved soon, plastic will well outnumber fish by the year 2050. To put this evidence into another perspective, research claims that there is 500 times more plastic in our sea than stars in our galaxy. As according to the UN Environment Programme, 51 trillion microplastic particles float around our Earth's oceans today. So, as each year enormous amounts of litter enter our seas, the biggest problem caused by plastics is proved to be their durability. For example, the towering tsunami that hit the coast of Japan in 2011 sent the aftermath of debris and animal life across the world's largest ocean. Years later, evidence of wreckage is still being found sweeping beaches along the north coast of America. Tiny hitchhikers, including crustaceans, mollusks and fish species, have ridden in on these debris rafts, that is, trash that has managed to withstand extreme ocean currents and weather. How is this possible? Scientists have studied over 600 pieces of the tsunami-generated garbage, carrying hundreds of Japanese marine species which now pose a serious threat to the native ecosystems of Hawaiian, Canadian and American coastlines. 
This biological rafting event was made possible through the durability of non-biodegradable plastics, fiberglass and polystyrene foam. What's more, the relatively slow process of the floating debris over time allowed these marine species to adapt to their new surroundings. So, in the grand scheme of things, the emergent invasion of foreign species to new realms present enough risk and harm to forever change our ecosystems. All this due to imperishable products, such as plastic, proof that when things go out to sea, they don't just dissolve, they float on forever. 3. A Great Patch of Floating Trash There's a patch of marine litter in the Pacific Ocean with many names. Called the Great North Pacific Gaia by some, the Pacific Trash Vortex by others, and most commonly, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the largest oceanic site for ocean plastic in the world. This titanic titan of trash sits in the middle of the ocean between Hawaii and California. The GPGP is the biggest of five other plastic accumulation points located among our planet's oceans. And once products enter the Gaia, they are unlikely to go anywhere, save for degrading into smaller particles from sun exposure. This means that the mass area of the GPGP is steadily increasing over time. So let's break down what our environment cannot. Over 2.41 million tons of plastic are entering the ocean through rivers every year, and plastic is much less dense than water. Therefore, these sources of trash find themselves incapable of sinking, since the buoyant non-biodegradables prove resilient to marine habitats and can float on for extended distances completely unperturbed, the trash patch seemingly saves the day. Though not exactly. With a surface area of 1.6 million kilometers, the patch is twice the size of the state of Texas and three times the size of France. Marine animals that migrate through and or inhabit the area are in constant risk of death from fishing nets. As well as persistent biochemical toxic compounds, animals which consume the debris then ingest the poisons found in these chemically enhanced plastics and die in crude consequence. 2. You are what you eat Due to the notion that 70% of our Earth's surface is covered in water, the general consensus is that the pollutants will imminently dilute and then disappear. This may be the case if it weren't for the 228,450 known species in the ocean, and another 2 million remaining a complete mystery, which must eat on a daily basis. These poor unsuspecting animals may flock to a shiny bag of waste in the same way a person might flock to a greasy cheeseburger. While we may think it's bad for us, oftentimes we remain uncaring and ignorant of the damage to our health. In this example alone, pollutants and litters don't merely dissipate once hitting our majestic ocean. Rather, their effects can easily be seen once they enter the underwater food chain. Such insight is evident through the remains of animal carcasses in which debris is constantly found ingested and entangled inside their bodies long after their death. What makes this cause so unfortunate is that the overwhelming occurrence of ocean pollution remains invisible to the human eye, as so much of this contamination happens far out to sea, deep within our canyons, and in the slow and steady demise of our marine population. 1. Destruction and Extinction Within the last few decades, human action has posed a devastating threat to marine life inhabiting our Earth's oceans. The term ocean pollution has since become a synonymous term for marine pollution due to the spreading of harmful substances including oil, plastic, chemical particles and waste from industry and agricultural efforts which directly affect sea life. Each year, 100,000 sea mammals and organisms die from ocean pollution alone. More than a third of shellfish populations growing in waters around the United States are subsequently harmed by coastal pollution. Our illustrious coral reefs are turning white and diminishing by the second, a direct cause of abandonment from algae, as algae are forced to seek alternative shelter unaffected by sunlight and thermal temperatures. Every year, 300,000 dolphins and porpoises are killed by becoming entangled in fishing nets and other hazardous flotsam. If that weren't enough, over 1 million seabirds are killed every year in the ocean due to pollution. Do you have any ideas on how to further help clean up our oceans? Let us know in the comments below and share this video to help spread the word. Thanks for watching.